Oh, I see you found Nurtling daily. You will never find a more wretched hive of scum and villainy. If by scum and villainy you mean tech news. <laughs> I would say this is going to be the best episode yet, but only a Sith deals in absolutes. All right, one more. <clears throat> That's no moon. It's a very mean brother. Barrett, get back to work! IBM is bringing quantum computing to the public. The company has unveiled a quantum computer with five qubits, each of which can hold a value of one or zero simultaneously. Unlike traditional bits, which can only hold one of those values at a time. Through IBM's new program, anyone can use the computer, which is located in New York, through an online interface. Well, anyone who has at least some knowledge of quantum computing, that is. It will primarily be used by researchers to test their work. But let's be serious. This is also a way for IBM to get street cred in the quantum computing world, because quantum street cred is a thing. I would know. A lot of people use Google Chrome as a browser, but Opera's new features might entice you to switch. The desktop and Android versions of the browser just got an integrated ad blocking feature which apparently speeds up loading web pages by 40% and cuts way down on memory usage. This version also has a pop up video player for YouTube which looks interesting and could be launching a built in VPN feature soon. Well Opera, these seem like very sensible choices, so I just want to let you know, I appreciate you. Thanks. Speaking of ad blocking, Adblock Plus is having a bit of a crisis of conscience over all the ad money that they're preventing publishers from collecting. So they've announced a partnership with Flatter, a service that lets users donate money which is then split among sites they frequently visit. Together, the two companies are launching Flatter Plus, a system that will basically combine their services, blocking ads and paying publishers proportionately according to time spent browsing. Oh, and of course, Adblock Plus and Flatter will take a 10% cut of the proceeds. The whole thing seems like a win-win for users who hate seeing ads everywhere but still want to support publishers. It's time for short news stories said more quickly than the others. Also, thank you for the comments last week. There were some good suggestions uh, for, for the replacement of this part, like uh, Barrett Bites was one that uh, caught my attention, but I think I'm going to stick with this one. It seems to fit, and other people were saying that as well, so thank you again for the suggestions. But. On we go. Hulu has announced it will offer live TV next year, furthering the transformation of streaming services into just regular TV. This is what TV is going to be now. Titanfall developer Respawn has apparently been working on a new action adventure game set in the Star Wars universe for the past two years, but no details other than that yet. A company called Parazero has introduced Safe Air, a parachute system for drones, which I don't think that surprises anyone. That's, you know. Uh, keep it simple. Microsoft Research has developed a way to trick VR users into thinking they're playing with a bunch of different Minecraft blocks, but really there's only one. Psh, they're so dumb. AMD is clearing up confusion about what refresh rates FreeSync actually works at, so they've updated the FreeSync site with range specifications for certified displays. Nice. AMD also launched the affordable Radeon R3 series of SSDs, and when I say affordable, I mean affordable. New sources for all of today's stories can be found in the forum post linked in the description. Hello, I'm Ethan Bradbury. Hey guys, don't know if you know, but we actually have a second channel, NCIX TV. We post vlogs there and stuff pertaining to things that happen behind the scenes and things of that nature. Also, we have an Instagram account in there. You can see previews of the show as well as other additional shenanigans. Um, you can also follow us on social media and I don't know, our, our, our tags are not here. Our tags are in the outro, so you can follow us on the Twitter and Instagram and all, all that stuff. So uh, here we go. You see, just as I was saying, the Twitter handles, they're all here. Uh, but that's it for Netlink Daily, guys. Thanks for watching. Click here to watch more videos, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more of the videos like this from NCIX. Now, I must go for I feel a great disturbance in my tummy because it's hungry and I haven't had lunch. May the fourth be with you. I think this is a different voice than I did at the beginning, but that's all right. Uh, I don't know. <laughs>